girl that posted that video calling her boyfriend her husband and he's like, I'm not your husband! Okay, today I'm going to be guessing my husband's favorite thing. I'm not your husband. So a lot of women expect relationships to be like Disney. This is a, one of the main reasons why men are exhausted from dating, man. They can't compete with these Disney plots, you know what I'm saying? And this is another reason that's why women will continue to lose good men in these relationships, right? It's because their heads are a little bit too delusional while they keep continuing to follow these Disney plot lines, right? They want that fairy tale dating lifestyle, which is so unattainable. So unless they turn off that damn TV, and get up the couch and realize that this is real life this is not disney that they're in for a shocking surprise right they may just end up with a bunch of cats you know they're reaching for perfect dating disney -like lifestyle but they might just end up with a bunch of cats in a rocking chair so anyways we got more reactions don't forget to click the like button subscribe and let's go excuse me can i talk to you for a second what's your name jasmine what's the mission where are you from LA. LA? Look at me, you know what I'm saying? I like eye contact. Type I, know, of shit. I know you do. What you do for work? Oh, we got a restaurant. You don't know? It took you long enough. Man, this first video, I don't I don't understand why she's acting like my frozen computer does, bro. Whenever I'm working on it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, whenever I'm, whenever I be on that damn computer, bro, sometimes it be freezing, bro. And she acting like this, bro. Lagging a little bit. Did you guys notice when she was asked what she does for work? She, com she completely, like, lagged for, like, 30 seconds. My man here called it out, like, you don't, you don't know what you do for work? That's a little funny though, ain't it? I feel like most of them act like this towards the man they're actually into, right? So it's like, it's no surprise. <laughs> they act like a little bit like, like a seven year old, you know? When you ask them like, what's two plus two? This is what it's like talking to a man on Hinge and why I'll probably be single alone forever. Okay, first of all, some context. This is one of his props. Together we could go skiing. I had literally just got back from skiing. So I was like, oh my God, perfect. I am now looking for a ski boyfriend. Like I want to go skiing together, perfect. He also sent me the first like, so then I matched with him and I said, I just got back from skiing yesterday. The pressure's really setting in today. Now, maybe you didn't remember that one of his prompts said about the skiing, so he was probably like, that's so random, but like, it's one of his prompts. So I was like, perfect, we'll chat about skiing. His response, violently hungover. Just nothing about anything I've said, just violently hungover. And also, violently spelled like that. Again, first red flag should have been, you are 30 years old and you cannot spell violently. But look, like he's hungover, probably still drunk. So I was like, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I said, not ideal. What did you get up to last night? And his response, we meeting up later, laughing. Town, silly decision. At this point, I was like, okay, he's actually violently still drunk, probably. I did not reply, because it's like, what are, you, what are you supposed to respond to that? And then shortly after, he unmatched me. But not before I got screenshots. Welcome to the Hall of Shame, James. So yeah. Good you guys know what's so funny about this video here is uh i feel like they switch genders like you know most times women act like how this dude's acting right here and the dude is acting like how women act 90 percent of the times right i don't know in what sense they switch their genders here but it's like she's acting like 90 percent of men act in every day-to-day -day life right when they're messaging they're, they'll be like this bro they'll be like typing too much they'll be reaching too much putting too much energy and then you have a girl acting like how these dudes acting, you know, violently hungover. I can't spell. They're like not even engaging in the conversation. You know what I mean? They're not even adding anything of value <laughs> to talk about. It's like you're talking to a damn brick wall. This is the funniest. Uh, this is a funny situation because now she gets a feel of what it's like to be a man on these dating apps, right? Because this is how they they go on about it, right? Like they be shooting their shot, but they're getting. <laughs> They're getting nowhere and in the end they get unmatched or maybe they get left on scene or they get ghosted or maybe worst case scenario the other partner or the chick let's talk about in everyday today life the chick will agree to link up and then the last second she's gonna flop right <laughs> and let me tell you something this is like after shooting a bunch of shots with a bunch of random girls right when they get the answer in the end you know like let's say like the date is set boom like you know what i mean he thinks it's going down on the last second he's to get rejected you know, and then ghosted or blocked that's how it usually goes so it's kind of a little bit odd how she it's a little bit odd of how she's experiencing this right now this doesn't happen to women that girl that posted that video calling her boyfriend her husband and he's like i'm not your husband
I'd be in jail. And homegirl is fighting for her life in the comments right now. She actually made two follow-up videos that are like five minutes long each being like, huh, it was just a joke. And she really says nothing. The videos are painful to watch. And so is the original video. It, it makes me physically recoil. But the thing is, you can't help someone who doesn't want to be helped. I just know that if it was my man who did that, I would be in jail. I would see him in hell. Also, I think they've been dating for three or four years and there's still no ring, but she is really young. I, I think she's only like 20. I wish I hadn't watched the video. It makes Couch Guy look blameless. It's a hard watch. If you haven't seen it, you gotta go watch it. <laughs> That's actually funny. I actually saw the video. I know what the video she's talking about. And I'm gonna show you guys in the next video after this. But essentially, it's about this girl who's making this video and she's referencing to her boyfriend as her husband and he just randomly outbursts that he's not her husband. Now, the thing is, do you blame him though? Like, I know it looks bad on her part, right? It looks like she just got rejected or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But like, how are you going, even though it's a joke, but how are you going to still put this label on him? He's not ready for the label, right? And he knows that at the end of the day, if he's to accept that label, it's like right now he's committing that he's going to marry her. He's not a show sure yet, right? They probably just started dating for like a year or so. So it's still too soon for her to be using that label. So I don't blame him, man. Everybody reacts differently. What do you guys expect? For him to just shut his mouth and not voice his opinion or what? Okay, today I'm going to be guessing my husband's favorite thing. I'm not your husband. <laughs> not yet, Kins. First things first, man. <laughs> was he on the wrong for that? What do you guys think? I don't think he was. I think he's... He has every right to do so because like well, what do you expect him you know like he's probably not ready he's not ready for marriage he doesn't want to commit all his life to her maybe maybe she has a bit of red flags she has to figure out the fact that she was using that label definitely and he's not all right with it definitely he was he was warranted for responding the way he wanted now what i gotta say is this is this a script could it be possibly i think so man i think a lot of these videos you guys shouldn't be taking them serious, man. I think it was staged just for views and all. Like, look at it, bro. Like, he doesn't look pissed off. She doesn't look pissed off. So it's like, it's a joke on both of their part. She probably told him to act the way he did. But if it's a real thing, I also am on his side. I, oh yeah, I don't blame him for doing that. I know a lot of people are all mixed, mixed emotional on the comments. And especially women, they're out there like commenting why she's still with him. She just got disrespected, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, even if it's a joke or not, you can't really be using this label. You know, it's too soon. Just imagine, bro, yes, are you dating for three days and she's already calling you your boyfriend, or you're calling you her husband. How are you gonna react to that? Are you gonna be like, oh yeah, finally. You're like, bro, I don't think men are that desperate for finding a wife at this, this time and age. You know what I mean, right? So, especially as you guys know how relationship and dating goes. My boyfriend is always broke started sentence always my boyfriend is always broke he works two jobs and spends all the money from his first job to make it to the second That's that counterproductive. is productive counterproductive is literally syllable for syllable what i was about to say <laughs> that's nothing but counterproductive um so it's all the money from his first job to make it to a second a waste of time mm. <laughs> that's what she said a waste of time so i made him quit the second job to stay home and babysit my kids crazy the my is the <laughs> keynote point there Made my kids my. babysit my kids a friend got me a weekend job as a bottle service model last night working in the vip i met a famous rap artist here we go here we go indeed the rapper's bodyguard told me that the rapper wanted some top and to meet him in the car behind the club it's crazy. Rappers live different, clearly. Told the bodyguard. His bodyguard hey, said to the bottle girl, tell that girl, I want some top. Tell her I want top. The rapper had tipped me $200 at that point. So I said, cool. Top for two bills. I don't know if she's saying, because he gave me a $200 tip, I should give him some top. Or she's saying, because he's willing to give me $200 as a tip, I know if I give him top, he's going yeah, 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 yeah. to run it back. Yeah, he's yeah. going to give me stuff. Yeah, he's going to give me stuff. He's fucking good for it. All right, cool. Right. The rapper had a fetish and he wanted two women on him at the same time. I don't think that's a fetish. It's, I don't think it's a fetish. It's just like, it's just, it's just better. Natural, yeah. natural greed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's a fetish. <laughs> natural greed. <laughs> Oh God, he wanted two women on it at the same time. Yeah. <clears throat> we had to do him and then kiss one another. Mm -hmm. Okay, the second woman was a jealous bitch. She dug her nails in my face and tried to bite my tongue. What Bro, the fuck? The bodyguard pulled me out of the car and the rapper stayed with the other woman. I was attacked. My face was bruised 
I didn't press charges because I was ashamed and didn't want my boyfriend to know what I did for money. Facts. Facts is facts. I can't return to bottle service duty until my face heals. Meanwhile, my boyfriend is still broke. I deserve so much better than the broke man I have. <laughs> How do I level up with someone else? Whilst keeping him around to- Yo, first things first, man, on this video, like, all I gotta say is like, <laughs> okay, why is she complaining? Because she's still with him. He's broke. Why are you still with him? You can just, you break up the relationship. God damn it, go find an old ass man who's rich, who might have a heart attack in the next two days. You can obtain all his inheritance, you know? <laughs> go do that. Why is she complaining? Like, that's the thing I don't get, right? Some people complain about their partners, but yet they're still with him. And then on top of that, yeah, the fact that this dude is actually, first of all, working two jobs and the first job is <laughs> helping him get to the second job. It's like, well, what's the point, bro? Just stick with one job, man. Like, there's no sense of you working two jobs and not even making money of both of them. Like, you know what I mean? You're not profiting right now. You're just losing time. All right. Just find one good job. And second of all, I don't think she's proper, bro. Why is he even with her on top of that, too? Like if she's a bottle service and she's doing exactly what she's doing right now, why is he in a relationship with her? Like they're both in such awful circumstances. I don't even think they realize it. You know, she's complaining about him being broke, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, she's doing <laughs> street girl shit. Him on the other hand is broke, but yet he's still dating this girl, this trashy girl from the street. So like, how are they both? helping each other you know what i mean like she's not doing any better he's not doing any better they're both stuck in the same love so when is facebook marketplace a dating website recently i listed some of my shit on facebook marketplace times are getting tough I'm trying to make some extra cash i'm poor so i listed a car i listed some shirts i listed some shoes etc yesterday i get a message and it's some lady and she says how much for the car and i'm thinking to myself it's on the damn listing why are you asking me how much it is and I tell her it's this amount. And she says, oh. And I reply to her and I say, are you interested? And she says, yeah, I am. And I say, okay, when did you want to meet up to check out the car? And she replies to me and says, when are you free? And I say, I'm free today or tomorrow or whenever. And she says, okay, I'm definitely interested, but under one condition. And I tell her, what condition is that? And she says, under the condition that you come with the car. <laughs> I didn't know uh, flirting was uh, part of the deal. But okay. So I just tell her, ha 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 ha, you're so funny. Uh, and I didn't know what to say because I never got hit on on Facebook Marketplace. So she proceeds to ask me, how old are you? And I tell her my age. She asks me where I live. I tell her I'm in Orange County. She asks me if I'm single. And I say, yeah. And then she asks me, do you want to go for a drink? At like 2 p.m. And I'm like, oh, uh, go for a drink when? And she's like, right now. And I was like, I, I thought you wanted to buy my car, not me. But I said, uh, no, you know, it's 2 p.m. right now. I have work to do, but uh, maybe we can do it another time. And she asked me, what about this weekend? And I tell her, uh, let me think on it. Yeah, let me think on it. So here I am in this dilemma. I'm getting hit on on Facebook Marketplace. The red flag I see in this situation is she wanted to drink at 2 p.m. So the last time I did that, the girl ended up costing me $400 because she got belligerently drunk. And uh, I don't know what to do. Usually people that message you on Facebook Marketplace wanting to buy shit are part-time crackheads. I don't know if I want to affiliate myself with a part-time crackhead, but it could be a good experience. She clearly is attracted to me. She's not too bad herself besides the 90 filter she uses on her profile photo that looks like it's from MySpace. She's, she's not that bad. She's blonde. She has nice eyes. She has her teeth. So, I don't know, guys. Do I go on this date with this girl from Facebook Marketplace? Or do I just pass on it? Because I warn you guys, if I go, this might be my last post. So, if I disappear and end up on CNN, just remember that you warned me, guys, to not do this. But I love you guys. I wish you the best. And... Wish. Yeah, first of all, kudos to her, man. I don't care. Like, yeah, look at it nowadays. Who would who would be ballsy enough to be shooting their shot on Facebook market? I think he should go for it. Do it for the experience, do it for the plot line, right? Because if you look at it, at least she's shooting her shot, man. And this is actually clever and it's such a creative way. Because like nowadays the age of 
all these technology, social medias, nobody's using <laughs> these uh, marketplaces, you know what I'm saying? So I think because it's not so, you know, crowded and the fact that even if she's a three out of 10, man, just do it for the experience, man. Kudos to her, you know what? She deserved it. Just do it for entertainment purposes. You don't even have to take her serious. Like, you know what I mean? Just go to a bar, just get to meet who she actually is, bro. Cause that's actually creative, right? If you look at it, <laughs> Even on regular dating apps, bro, most women don't take their shots like this. So the fact that she's on this marketplace, bro, <laughs> you know, I think it's a little bit clever, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, I don't think she deserves the roasting. I don't know why he's roasting her, bro. Like, m most people won't do this. And on top of that, you're still entertaining it because you're still replying. Because if you still didn't want to, why are you still communicating with her? You know what I mean? You're still pushing it further and further. You either told her, nah, I'm just here for the car. Like, are you interested in the car or not? She says, no, boom, end it right there. But I think part of you was still curious to figure out, to find out who she is, right? So you should definitely go for it. There's so much to unpack here. Unfollowing a girl because she doesn't want to date you is crazy. Do y'all ever notice when girls post their DMs with guys and the guy's just like, hey, 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 hey again. And she'll post that guy and be like, LMAO, guys are so thirsty nowadays. And I'm over here thinking, why doesn't she block him? She doesn't want him. He's being annoying. Why doesn't she block him? Then you start to realize they like it. They like it. Even if it's from guys that they don't want, girls want validation. So when that guy is like, you know what? I'm done giving this girl all this attention and validation. I'm gonna hit the road and give it to somebody else that actually likes me. This girl will check her unfollowing app and go, wait a minute, that guy I didn't want unfollowed me. This just goes to show girls will want your attention even if they don't want you. This is why I always tell guys, ask girls out quick, three to five messages, get this answer out of her quickly. And she validates my point because she'll gladly entertain your messages She'll even post them for entertainment for her followers. But the second you ask her out and she's like, oh, I don't know, or oh my God, I'm just now seeing this. The guy will keep messaging her because he doesn't know any better. He hasn't found defund simple. <clears throat> you know what? He says everything here is true, actually. Matter of fact is, this happens all the time. And the reason is because these women, bro, they live on the internet, bro. You know, this is the age of social media, right? With their low attention seeking span brain, <laughs> they like these type of attention so of course if you are sitting there sending all these messages and you're not getting any positive response back why are you wasting your time <laughs> you know and that clever guy out there would actually unfollow right away because like you guys realize this right like you may be talking to her bro and she's not interested or whatever or she's still replying but i mean it's not going anywhere or maybe she's putting low effort responses then at the end you're like you know what whatever you ignore her you continue doing your own thing but whenever you're posting your stories or whatever you're doing whatever she's the first one to be on those she's the first one to see it bro she's the first one to be watching your stories you know what i'm saying like especially whatever instagram snapchat you always can see who's viewing these stories right but when you talk to her or whatever it's like she's not giving you that attention you know <laughs> and then the moment you unfollow whatever you stop entertaining them the moment they're a little bit buttered but then you ask yourself at the end why are you mad that like you weren't interested you know and i'm not interested in giving you free attention all the time i'm moving on all of a sudden it's a big problem on their part now this is when all your messages start getting leaked out this is the time when she starts roasting you making you look like you're a weirdo but at the end of the day it's like no bro i think she's a weirdo she's the weirdest one here bro because imagine that how do you get a kick from getting so-called harassed right that's how they call it how do you get a kick from that and yeah you act like you don't like it but loki you like it you know what i'm saying but, man these guys they're like rubik's cubes <laughs> they don't know what they want for real yeah maybe that's why i should mind my fucking business so i'm scrolling on here and y'all know that girl jordan or jojo or whatever her name is on here she had just made a TikTok about, um, like, people asking her, like, do your boyfriend know what you do for work? Like, how do he feel about it? All that shit, right? Now, me, I'm just thinking, like, what y'all mean? Like, you feel me? She do TikTok. Like, what's wrong with TikTok? Boy, was I wrong. I went to her Twitter, baby. When I tell you nothing 
could have prepared me for what that Twitter had on it, baby. And it's like, am I out the loop? Did y'all know that already? Or like, I never thought that. Like, my mouth was on the floor when I went to her page. Here I am thinking she's just a cool-ass TikTok bitch. Like, don't get me wrong. She is a cool-ass TikTok bitch. But I thought, like, that was the job. I didn't know that that was happening on Twitter. Like, Joe, Jordan. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, I want y'all to go look and come back. Or if you already knew that. Why I didn't know that? Like, did everybody already know that? Or is this new to me? Like, I would have never knew that if she didn't make the TikTok. <laughs> so this woman here is a little bit confused because, like, there was a creator she follows. And this creator, you know, po posts a lot of TikTok videos. I guess relatable with them women, you know. But then this creator, apparently, there was a question she was asked. If her boyfriend minds her, her uh, occupation, what she does for a living, I guess, you know. And then she responded by blah 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 whatever so anyways this girl did her research and found out that this girl no this girl does a whole different profession because mind you she thought that this was her profession making these videos making money from them but no <laughs> in most cases let me say this man all these creators all these whatever tiktok naked girls whatever <laughs> a lot of their job is not actually to make tiktok videos if you guys know you know you know they're mostly on only fans bro you know but on tiktok it's like they don't post they're not allowed to post any of their only fan contents of course because they're gonna get the account ban right so of course they post relatable content and you just think they're a regular you know human being you can relate with blah 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 and then you find out behind the scenes they're actually doing some of the craziest raunchiest stuff bro just for the sake of money now this is what she's relating to right she's gonna believe it but let me tell you man that's 90 percent of these girls right these ig whatever celebrity you're crushing on bro you're in for a heartbreak because most of the times behind the scenes, the things they do is the most degradable things ever, bro. You know what I mean? But I mean, it's not shocking nowadays. Now this is like normal. You know, you see somebody, you have to assume they already are in that profession, right? So. Okay. Every time I post my boyfriend, I get the question of why does he want to be with me? Does he know what I do for work? Has he even seen my Twitter? Blah, blah, blah. Like just basically trying to say that I'm nasty. Why would he want to be with somebody that does what I do for work? So since everybody keeps asking me. Um, I really don't look into it. It's not really like um, something I'll be contemplating about. I already knew before because we was friends before we even got the like messing around, you know, but. Messing around. No, I can't say that. So, oh my God. But honestly, a straight up answer is I just, if she gets paid from it, she likes it, I love it. There's no, nothing else to it. Real men matter. They're going to be like, he's a real man because he lets you do. No, nah, it's no insecurity. Look at <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm saying, right? Like on this video right here, bro, I just talked about it. This is a, this is a little story I gave you on the last clip, right? But essentially her boyfriend knew that before they you know became an item or whatever became serious right so the thing is all i gotta say is bro of course he doesn't care you know because the bills are paid she's making money he's living good he's sleeping at night it's not an issue right why should he be worried yeah so basically she went on i guess people in a hard case when she posts a man and she just spicy twitter so people are, oh how could you know um how did your boyfriend feel with who now me personally, I don't know because when she said boyfriend and he said, go back to the video. I already knew before because we was friends before we even got the like messing around, you know. He said we've been messing around and he said we've been messing around. Like his voice was cracking. He said basically, you know, when we hear it. And the thing is, right, he had a point. He knew what he signed up for. You feel me? Like she D1. And whatever. And I haven't personally seen her content. You know, that's not for me. That's for y'all to go check out. I'm just going off of what people is talking about. And there's come a point in time, you know, like, who gives a fuck? You feel me? Like, if she does spicy Twitter and he been knew that and he still decided to make it official, even I don't know if it is because he said, yeah, you're messing around. Her face is like messing around. So either way, it's wild. I know he hurt him though, and I don't think he take he don't take it serious. I ain't gonna lie. Like, or long term, it hurt because 
when I was reading the comments, they say she still got posts up of the last dude she was making spicy Twitter videos with. So it's like, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't want to see my girl, you know, getting greased. I don't know. But you got to think too, though. Then you got to think realistically, right, y'all? Everyone has a past. Everyone's been greased for the most, not everyone, but a good majority of people have been greased before you multiple times. So it's like, your girl been greased, your man, you know, he been greasing. So like, it ain't, it's a hard truth, man. Like, fellas, like, your girl really told somebody in the past, put it back in. And ladies, y'all man had a female ask him whose is it. And she didn't say that to you. You know, and it's wild to think about, but it's life, bro. We got a fact the fact, but we grown. Uh, you know, some of y'all jits. But for the most part, we grown. It's just... People could do whatever the hell they want. Yeah, I'm just making a big so I'm trying to get Yeah, you feel me? I'm a content creator. I'm trying to get it. Yeah. But let people do what they want to do. He signed up for it, so he know AJ. He cannot go back later on. Oh, stop doing this. Stop. You found me when I was going. Crazy, man. But other than that, y'all, let people do what they want to do, bro. For real. You know, me personally, that's dad, dad Walter. I wouldn't even, what the, you feel me? I wouldn't take it serious. You do that, you feel me? You just for fun. But, you know, people get their money, get their money. Maybe she support her family. People doing what they got to do. You know, the exotic dancers and bottle girl, everybody doing what they got to do, bruh. Hooters and all that extra. People doing what they got to do. Everybody got a job. Let them make their money, bruh. Just if that's not something you put out with as a man or woman, if your man do something you don't like, or your male, uh, spicy, dance, whatever that can be, I don't know. Don't fuck with him heavy. Or don't fuck with him at all. Move around until you get what you want. Just don't move around too much without working on yourself. Other than that, y'all, finish the next. She's being able to pay all them bills, and he's able, he's able to get a good night's sleep. Why is he worried? <laughs> You know what I mean, right? Like, of course, he's not wifing her up. Of course, he probably knows she's not going to take her serious, right? He probably knows she's not for the long term. But at the moment, his life is secure. Because, like, would he rather be with this type of girl? Or would he rather be with a, with a nice quality but a broke chick, you know? That, that's his mentality, bro. You know what I mean? And I, for myself, bro, I totally, bro, I get where he's coming from. This is, like, one of those situations where you're just messing around for the time being but you don't take him serious now if he was to like be taking her serious and all and talk about his dreams of marrying her getting children and settling down with her and all that and yet he still knows she does this and he still allows it and then that's where the issue comes in you know what i mean or on top of that if he was to find out like he wasn't he was unaware of this at the start and then later on he found out about this and yet he still chose to stay with her and yo that's all his problem bro you know what i'm saying but as he told you bro he was aware from the beginning right so it's not an issue and i can understand why right i guess from from the looks of it he's an up-and-coming artist up-and-coming rapper so of course he probably ain't making money bro them bills ain't getting paid bro somebody gotta be paying them bills she out there working doing street street girl shit you know so of course he cool with that because she's making money. If she was doing it and she's not making money and they still broke, then that's an issue. But at the moment, this is how they're paying their bills, bro. So of course, he doesn't have a problem with that. Is it easy for a woman to get sex? Is it easy for a woman to get sex? Yes. Of course it is. Is it easy for a man to get sex? Of course it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's way harder. Well, like you've had a really bad experience with gay women because I know so many people that can just have sex. Okay, you know what? Let's have fun with this if you think it's so easy. Go on. I'm the girl. How you were gonna riz me up? What a shit question. I'm not a man. I would never riz you up. I thought you said it was easy. Yeah, I can tell you. I'm easy. I'm the girl. Riz me up. Riz people in. Oh, oh, okay. You for that? See, guys, I told you, girls have no game. She failed with rizzing me up. She didn't ask me to riz him up. I think he's a bit gay. That's why he wants to tie like a woman. I knew it. I called that one, guys. But it is easy, isn't it? No, it's not. Yes, it is. You go on a date, you date a few, da da da, what get to know the person. Who the fuck a girl on a date? Just, it's that easy. 
If you're going for high value you women and you're ugly, single guy. no, absolutely not. Okay. Okay. Would it be fair to say that you are very picky on who you go on dates? Absolutely. Congratulations. Very fair. You proved my point. Yeah, she kind of looks stupid, but I gotta agree with that. You know, he caught her on that. You know, so. <laughs> This is this is the mindset of like 90% of the women. All I gotta say is this is how they think, right? Like they think it's easy out here for them boys, you know? They think that's how every boys live, like, you know, it's it's easy. You just go, you just ask and you get. But that's not how it works. And right here, she just walked right into the trap. And she's so confident with it, right? <laughs> Just because the people she knew, right? She probably knew like what, five people who are getting it like that. She assumes the whole male population is like that. But in reality, you boys know the case. You guys know that it ain't true. You know how hard, how much work you gotta put in, how much time, effort, money goes into that. You know, and on top of that, that is if, if she even says yes, because most of the times you be talking to these girls, right? And you ask them for a date or whatever, and then they say yes, but then you still gotta deal with a lot of obstacles along the way, right? Maybe last minute, she flops on you, or maybe, you know, you go on the bait, and at the end, it doesn't go anywhere. And now you spent all your time, your money, Maybe, you know, she plays games here and there. Like, you know what I mean? There's a lot of headache that comes into dating and going out. You know what I mean? So I think in her, she thinks it's like a walk to the park. Just open the door, boom, walk right to the park. That's how it is. That's how easy it is. But she doesn't know how hard it is. But you boys know that. I mean, if we're talking, bro, this is for 90% of the men out there. It's difficult. Now, if you're like the 10%, right? That's, I mean, like you got everything in line. You know, you have your businesses, you're making money, you're living at a good, you know, um, geographical location where there's a lot of women, you know, like, and you have clout or whatever that works in your favor. And then, of course, it's easy for you. But if you're like 90% of the dudes who are like nine to five, bro, regular jobs, doing regular stuff, bro, living regular life, trust me. And I'm talking about they have like mid looks, right? They, even if you have good looks, it's still a little bit difficult. You know, it's not like a walk to the park. It's not as easy as she thinks, bro. I used to hook up with this girl off Tinder and afterwards, she would always give me a little candy bar or a little treat. And in the moment, I didn't really care. I just thought it was a cute little thing. But then one time she didn't do it. She didn't give me my treat. And so I verbally asked her, I said, hey, do you have my reward? And she laughed. And I was like, oh my God, in that moment, I was like, you have me trained like a fucking dog. Because there would be some times where she would give me the Kit Kat after we were done, and I would maul that shit up right in front of her. And she would sit there smiling. Like she knows what she's doing. She knows exactly that she's training me to be this certain breed that she wants me to be. I always thought that if I did a better job, I would get two rewards. Never once did I get two rewards. I don't know, maybe she didn't have them with her, or maybe only special boys got special rewards. If, if I think about it, maybe I was getting a bad reward. Maybe the Kit Kat wasn't even good. What if she was giving other people, like, a big size pack of Skittles? Oh my god! This didn't come to me till just now! But what if I was- what if I was only getting Kit Kats, and other people were getting family sized Skittles? Holy shit! I could have been bad the whole time! This just ruined everything. Like, how didn't he see this coming, bro? <laughs> like, yo, in what sense would a man be okay with this? You're given a chocolate bar, you're given a candy, and you're accepting it right after. This is like no different than a dog. At this point, bro, it's like, it's like you're, you're a puppy, bro. Now the treat's missing one day, now guess what? It's a problem for you. <laughs> you know how you treat your, 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 them dogs, right? You know how you train them, you know, you give them treats for anything good they do, and you don't give them treats for how bad they behave. This is exactly what she was doing. You were her puppet. Now it's of course, it's obvious now that you realize that, but it's too late. Guess what? Now you want that damn treat, man. You want that candy bar, bro. You're, it's, it's in your mind, right? Even though you're upset, nothing can fix it unless you go get that damn candy bar. So the only way to fix it is for you to go to the dollar store or something, you know, grocery store and buy it for yourself. Because you need that treat. That's how your brain now operates. She's wired you. Like how, how do boys get in this situation? I don't get it, bro. Like, you wasn't thinking. Like, okay, the first time, okay, maybe she was, uh, she was being nice, you know? Maybe she's treating you like a guest. Second time, okay, sure, coincident. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, you should have realized the pattern. But you wasn't thinking, were you? My son's bringing home a woman my age for dinner. Okay, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is good. Go, keep going. Um. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be open-minded, but I'm also wondering um like why did he need to replace me when i'm still right here <laughs> you have a 
You have you a mom. Have, I'm here and I'm great. You don't have mummy issues. Like I I'm don't, right I'm, here. I, I, I'm not going to judge what she, like, with, like, she could just be having fun in the relationship, right? Like, it could just be her boyfriend. Like, she's not introducing him to the kids. They're not moving in together. They're just having fun. Yeah. That's, that's a little bit odd, ain't it? Like, imagine, imagine. <laughs> Actually, hold up. Imagine you're bringing your dates home. They're introducing her to your family and your date's the same age as your mother. And you're like half the age. Yeah, you know what I mean? That that's kind of a little bit awkward situation, isn't it? Like well like of course <laughs> how do you even how do you even describe that, you know? But I mean there you go. Like as a parent, I think she should she should be more protective of her son, bro. Her son's twenty one, his mind's underdeveloped. Whereas his partner's mind is overly developed, you know what I'm saying? So like that woman is probably looking for something that he has bro you know if he has money he's famous he's whatever that's how that's why she decided to get serious with him but your son is having fun on his part right so i mean this is where parents should be coaching their kids bro you know telling them how it is you know this this woman do you see how easy she lets her son off the hook bro like you should have had this talk with your son and describe that maybe he's getting used like he needs to be careful like what's his intention over here you know what I mean? Because that, that's, that doesn't make any sense, right? Like, the woman is goddamn twice his age, bro. And, but I mean, at the end of the day, bro, it's 2024. Who am I to say, right? Everybody can date whatever they want, whoever they want. If you want to go marry a tree, go ahead, bro. If you want to go take a dog to the park and call her your girlfriend, go ahead, bro. All right? That's it. But anyways, man, that's the video, guys. If you guys enjoy it, click the like button, subscribe, and easy.